fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Sunday the 30th of March 2025. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying your weekend. It's come over very dark. It's uh, only just gone lunchtime here, but uh, the clouds have come over. So I guess we're going to have some rain this afternoon. <clears throat> the problem of obesity uh, is a worldwide thing. It's a global thing and getting worse the whole time, of course and partly because of the amount of junk food that people eat. Um, and so with that in mind, Mexico, which has approximately 30% of kids that are overweight or obese, uh, according to government statistics, uh, are going to introduce, or have introduced, yes, since yesterday I should say, a, uh, a junk food ban in school. Um, you know, in particular things, stopping things like uh, what Americans call potato chips and what in England people call crisps. Uh, we have different words for that. I wonder, I wonder how this uh, new uh, translator thing that YouTube has given me is going to deal with that. I'm sure they don't know any British English words. But anyway, anyway, um, Mexico uh, trying to cut down on sugar, salt, calories and fat. Um, and with proper logos and warnings, etc. Um, of course, uh, RFK Jr. in the U.S. has promised to do the same thing as well, but or try to do the same thing, but I think it's got no chance whatsoever. <laughs> Up against U.S. corporations, I don't think so. Uh, that's a, that's dead in the water, like most of the like many of the people who were gonna are gonna be dead in the water if they follow JFK's adv RFK's advice on vaccines and things. Anyway. That's another story, but good luck to Mexico. Well done, they've got the right idea there. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is our Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle for Sunday. I'm going to start with fives blocking as shown here, <coughs> giving me five in that square. Four blocks up here, that puts four into one of those two squares blocking down, four across this way and this way. That will give me a four there. Nine blocking across here and nine up here puts nine into one of these two squares blocking that way. Nine blocking here and there's a nine. Seven blocks across here and there and a seven going up. Says seven must be there, must be. <coughs> two blocking down here and two across there puts two into one of these two squares blocking across. Don't forget that two we've already got there. That will give us a two there. So then we'll have twos like this, won't we? Hmm. Found a triple. Two, three, seven. That puts two, th that puts two, three, and seven into these squares, right? We've got two, three, seven blocking up here. This is two, three, and seven. And no idea about any of those, but anyway, this these two squares can't be two, three, or seven, so they will be five and six. So that puts fives in these squares here, and six is already done, so no news there. <coughs> five and six, so the missing digits in these squares are. Four, eight, nine. Is that useful or not? I think not. Not really. <coughs> uh, in this row here, seven blocks both of those squares, and that will give us a seven there. The missing digits here are one and three I think so we've got one blocking across here one down there that'll give me a one 
in and that square there. Okay, uh, this may not lead to anything, but it might. I don't know. We've got 2 and 7 blocking this square, and we've got 2 and 7 blocking this square. So we've got 2 and 7 in those squares there. Oh, yeah, it will lead to something, because I just worked this out, didn't I? What did I say goes there? I've forgotten what I said. This is 2 and 7. Uh, and what did I just say there and there? I've completely forgotten Oh, I know, I had 2, 3, 7 in those squares, didn't I? Um, <coughs> uh, 2, 3, 7 in these squares. 2, 3, 7. Uh, so this was 5 and 6. <laughs> Sorry about this, my memory is so appalling. Right, so 2 and 7 blocking this square, 2 and 7 blocking this square. So that's 2 and 7. This is 5 and 6. That's a 3. <sighs> Eventually we get there. 3 up here, 3 up there, 3 here, 3 blocking across. There's a 3, there's a 4. 4 across this way, 4 up there, up there. There goes a 4. Right, now, what did I say again? 2 and 7 block here, that's 2 and 7. And so the last digit down here is a 9. 9 blocking up here, 9 across there, there's a 9. Eight blocks up here that gives me an eight in that square there. <coughs> four blocks this square, and so in that row there's our four. The last number in this row is a two. Two blocks across there, there's a two. This would be a one. Uh, I can get this, can't I? What is it? Um, This was 5 and 6, and so this has to be 4. Ah, oh, and that's the last digit, 4. <coughs> 7 blocks across there, there's a 7. The last number to place here is a 5, I think. Eight blocks this square, so in the bottom row there's our eight, this will be a six. This is two, three, eight, but we've got two, three, eight in different columns, so that's not very good. Uh, this then is not two, three, or eight, it's got to be... <coughs> um, Five, six, nine, I think. Five, six, nine, and three, okay.
All right, I don't know what to do to move forward just yet, so let's go around the clock. Well, I don't know. I suspect the answer is in here somewhere. So I think I'm going to do this this one block here. Let's just do one block, shall we, and see where it leads. Because I there's a lot of things happening here, but I can't see enough of what's happening. So I think I'm going to do this block. Let's see what we do. We've got ones in those squares. <coughs> What else do we know? We've got threes in these squares. We've got fives in those squares there. We've got six somewhere there. We've got seven somewhere there. And nine somewhere th there. We've got eights in those squares. I know I've missed a digit. Uh, two blocking down there, so twos go there. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that is done. That block uh, has it been useful? Maybe not. 
All right, and down here we were missing two, and we were missing three, and we were missing eight. And that didn't get me anywhere. <laughs> it didn't move me forward. All right, okay. Let's just do the rest then. This is one and three, and this is five, and uh, six, and nine in those squares there. Okay, over here then, uh, in this column, we're looking for two and seven. Also, now I've got sevens there. And these are five and six. Okay, so up here then we're looking for one and three. And this is going to be five and six, I think. And then one more block to go. So we got one blocking across here like this. So it gives us ones in those squares, two in these squares there, three across like so, five, hello five, uh, no idea on five. idea on six either and then nine blocks like this so all candidates are in I didn't bother to look for pairs there but we've got five and six there so this can't be five and six or five or six I should say it has to be a seven so immediately we get the seven in that square the two in that square and get rid of those twos there that gives me a five here come back here and get rid of that five <coughs> this is the only seven uh sorry seven to remove there i should say seven to get rid of there okay uh we still need a seven okay this can't be seven because of that seven over there so that's going to be the two and we get rid of those twos there uh so can get rid of this five and six as well and in fact, we've got a unique rectangle here, so I'll save a bit of time. It's five, six, and five, six, nine. So that's going to be a nine with our unique rectangle rule. And it means that these squares here cannot be nine. <coughs> uh, Alright, let's just see by clicking on the digits now what we can do. No two there I'm afraid two must go there and this must be eight and the two will be in this square here and the three is there those squares can't be three that must be three there that's a one and then back here for a one and a six eight nine seven six in that square six there five there last number to get here is a nine uh, get rid of those ones shall we and get rid of those sixes as well and we're left with three five all right uh, oh we're almost all done there's just a few more numbers to get one blocking down here so that's our one that's our three uh, our one blocking up here gives us one in that square, three in that square, so five there, three there. And this has to be six. Five in that square there, six down there, five there. That's our Los Angeles Times Expert Level Puzzle over and out. If you spotted the five-six pair, that's the end of the game, I guess. Okay, thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.